Hey guys, it is five minute rounds time. I have a case that I want to share with you guys um, that is a really good one for a couple different reasons. Um, this is a seven year old castrated male golden retriever that had a little pea, did they say pea size? Or, oh, grape size, they said grape size, um, mass on his elbow. And the sample's really, really cellular, really nice sample. We can already see that there are these big dense cluster or um, groups of cells here that we'll look at closer, but they're mixed with this really bright pink extracellular material. And as I'm just cruising around here, I'm just noticing even from 10x objective that there is some crazy stuff happening down here. So it's really never good when you can see cells that are this huge from 10x. These guys are really, really big. Um, and what is happening here? Oh my gosh, this is a gigantic cell. So let's get a little bit closer and look at these. I'm gonna turn up my light here. All right, so now we're on 20x. We can see them a bit closer. Honestly, if we got even closer to these, which we will, we might even have them off of the screen because they're so huge. I mean, these are like alarmingly large cells. Um, but of course, like any sample, we want to start at the beginning of the thought process, the algorithm, you know, are these mesenchymal, epithelial, or round? And you can see that a lot of these cells have really nice wispy borders coming off of them. Some of them kind of look almost a little like, like amoeba-like almost. They're, they've got different um, wispy borders coming off from around the periphery of the cell. But when we are looking at them, when they're not mixed up with this pink stuff, you can definitely see these nice, oh, sorry, my light's a little bit bright. Um, you can see these nice uh, wispy borders coming off of them. So that really points us in the mesenchymal origin direction. And when you can actually see this pink extracellular material mixed up with uh, a lot of different types of tumors, but Mesenchymal tumors in particular oftentimes um, can be, I shouldn't say oftentimes have this, but they can be associated with this like pink matrical type material they're producing. So let's look at them a bit closer. So now we, we feel good that they're a mesenchymal population, but you know, do we have criteria of malignancy to call these malignant? And I think you can kind of already pick up on the fact that I'm talking about these and talking about how horrible they look that they do. So let's go back to this gigantic cell. This thing is really humongous and it alone has four nuclei, one, two, three, four. And we've got within each nuclei, we've got multiple prominent nucleoli. So one, two, three, four nucleoli within one nucleus. We also have a little bit of um, cytoplasmic, or excuse me, nuclear molding here where these nuclei are kind of hugging each other. It's real, a little bit subtle, but you can see it there. And that's another criteria of malignancy. So there is absolutely no doubt that these cells are nasty and have lots and lots of criteria of malignancy. Like, look at these guys, oh my gosh. Tons of anisocytosis, so different size cells. This one's pretty big versus these that are a bit smaller. Um, and anisocyto or karyosis, which is different size nuclei. So one caveat that you guys hear me talk about a lot is that we want to be a little bit careful with mesenchymal populations because non-neoplastic reactive fibroplasia um, can mimic sarcoma cytologically. So we just have to be cautious, but these guys are just awful and there's no inflammation in here at all. So I felt good calling this a sarcoma based on the cytology because it's just beyond anything that I would ever expect with reactive fibroplasia. But again, I, I see a lot of these. So just be a little careful if you don't look at cytology a lot. Um, that might be something you want to leave to a pathologist to, to do that speculation, um, plus or minus getting that histopath to confirm. And in this case, this was confirmed as a sarcoma on histopath. Um, I kind of was stopped at sarcoma based on the cytology, but I had suspected maybe like a fibrosarcoma. Um, on histopath, they actually called it a um, most likely to be a high grade soft tissue sarcoma, but that's kind of as far as they could get because these cells weren't revealing their exact origin. Um, they did mention possibly histiocytic sarcoma, but less likely. But either way, really, really bad sarcoma in this case um, and a really nice cytology of it.